It's the first of four races I'm bringing you here from Chepstow on the final day of week two here on the flat race. And it's a two-mile maiden for three-year-old horses and up. We've got Baltoro for M. Scala and Hendricks for M. Scala. Bronze Grego for D. Thompson. Deal with it, Joshua Sutherland. Heshan Luda, Vinnie Gerard. that's the jolly. Joe DiMaggio, Ryan Tamasebi. Jurisdiction, Robert Steve Ran. Yeah, Noir, Alex Cherry. Birthplace for Graham Clutterbuck. Erudite Aileen for Ryan Costello. Gold Machine Arrival, Satyam. Huntress Martin Leadham. Smug Pontypool Racing. Harrow on the Hill, D. Thompson. Lucifer for Alex Ince. And Tour de France for Paul Rhodes. And they're off and running. You'll see that I had to race through the race card before it disappeared in front of me. But look at the quality of these visuals as we can see all of these horses wonderfully well. Clear blue, clear blue skies beating down on Chepstow Racecourse here. What a fine afternoon of racing we've got in store for you here. And Baltoro goes out in the early lead as they start to go downhill there about a length back to birthplace and another length back to tour de france jurisdiction roberts running in the same colors as birthplace just a few lengths back that one hugging the rail so far just on the inside of smug and hendrick so quite a few of those runners at the front of the pack running in very similar silks there but i'm sure they're across different trainers so i'll try and make sure i get it right when i align one to the related trainer it's looking towards the rear of the field erudite aileen is currently the back marker at the gray horse huntress towards the rail we've also got deal with it uh, hishan luda and joe dimaggio some horses that ran reasonably but well, reasonably well on week one i should say and hishan luda for vinnie gerard will be looking to go one better than uh, his newbury stayer capeling east who just failed to get up uh, when trying to run down Arthur's Pass in what was a great race there. So it'll be interesting to see how that one gets on, albeit over this shorter distance. So it's still birthplace out in the lead. A few lengths uh, back to Tour de France. Uh, just on the inside of Smug, that one. Uh, Bronze Grego just racing towards the centre of the track. Uh, as is deal with it for Joshua Sutherland, that's just a few lengths back and in that kind of middle of the pack group, which is looking quite clustered. There's quite a few horses in there at the moment. Yeah, Noir, Joe DiMaggio, Erudite Aileen has moved forward from further back to join up in that group. And another one that's trying to do that is Lucifer at the rear of the, rear of the field is just now angled to the very wide outside just to try and start making a bit of progress. Staying closer towards the rail, you would have had a wall of horses in front of it there. Huntress is the back marker at the moment, the grey horse, but they're all still travelling very strongly as we come in towards the final six furlongs here. And it's still birthplace that has the lead, an ever-decreasing lead now, with Tour de France still in second one that made some good progress there up along the rail was Hendrix, just racing on the inside of Bronze Griego, deal with it, now moving forward as well as is Joe DiMaggio through the centre of the track. Joe DiMaggio's now moved forward into a share of second, deal with it, getting ever closer on the wide outside. Looking back towards the rear of the field and Huntress is now trying to make a move after being very patiently ridden throughout this race and the back marker is now Yer Noir. And that one's going to struggle to get involved at the finish unless it picks up pretty quickly. So going into the final three furlongs, it's Joe DiMaggio that now has the lead and travelling much kinder at the minute than deal with it on the outside. Heshan Luda's now trying to get involved and has burst out the pack as we come towards the final two furlongs and going downhill here it's still Joe DiMaggio that has his neck out in front over deal with it for Joshua Sutherland but that one's now staying on the better of the two and is about to move up alongside it. Yeshan Luda is now trying to stay on into the final furlongs but going to have to get Modra in, can't see anything else getting involved. It's still Joe DiMaggio but now it's being picked off by deal with it. Deal with it's gone into the lead and now Heshan Luda's getting going but is it too late as we approach the line? Deal with it's won that one. We'll see on the photo finish, but I'm usually pretty confident calling them without this. That deal with it has won this for Joshua Sutherland, and it has. Vinnie Gerard has come agonizingly close in another stairs race here in week two. The 11 to 4 favourite just denied in second. Joe DiMaggio. Maybe hit the lead too soon there for my stable. Tour de France back and forth for Paul Rhodes and gold match and arrival for Satyam completes the top five.